So I'm once again quitting YouTube to become an angel of God. Oh. After your life is over and you go up to the pearly gates, you'll meet me who's gonna judge you. You're gonna tell me the good you've done, the bad you've done, and I'm gonna judge the bejesus out of you. I am the one who decides how you will spend eternity. Yay! <laughs> and actually my friend Charidette played this game a while ago. I'll link her in the description because she gave me the good idea of asking you all to write in the comments below one really good thing you've done and one bad thing you've done. Keep it PG-13, please. And for some people, I will judge you in the comments. Also leave a like, that will also help your judgment. I'll know. First of all, I think that's me at the top. I'm so cute. And my first person to judge is Harry Potter. All right, Harry, let's see what you've done in your life. You freed slave elves. Well, that is good, Harry. Dobby was the best. And spies on people with his invisibility cloak. Guys, Harry Potter's a creep. He's a creep. Dates with his best friend's sister. Oh my god, Harry Potter's a creep. Is this his last judgment? You going- Oh, Harry Potter's going to- Oh, I get to decide? Oh, look how happy he is. Mm, should I let the creep into heaven? Or should he be- <laughs> This is horrible! His face is like, what? please decide, what are you doing? No, you've been naughty, Harry Potter. <laughs> I'm drunk with power. All right, we have a police officer. What have you done? Caught many criminals. Raccoons? No. Oh, God! Gets information by torturing raccoons? No! Got fired from his job for being... Oh, God! Oh, God! No! Oh, you're the worst! What? Goodbye! Uh, Kanye? So to be... No. There's gonna be nobody in heaven. <laughs> nobody. Run for president because he dreamed of a prosperous country? I guess that's fine. You can run for president, even if... You shouldn't be. <laughs> Worked as a telemarketer to help his mother pay rent. I mean, that's, that's... All right, we're gonna have to be a little more lenient. No, mm, I don't know. So this game was definitely made before he's been way controversial, even more so now. I don't, I don't know what to do with you. We're just gonna... Oh no, I have to decide? So only one of them can go to heaven. I mean, mouse? Warrior guy from 300. I... <gasps> this game is horrible. I love both of them. Freddie Mercury from Queen or Amy Winehouse. <sighs> I'm gonna have to go based off how many songs I love of them and I definitely know and love more Queen songs, so I'm sorry. Oh yes, Shrek. We get to judge Shrek. Shrek, you're going to heaven. Don't even worry about it, man. Brushes his teeth with insects, that's fine. Doesn't leave his house because he thinks everyone is disgusted with him, that's fine. Parts in his enemies' faces. I don't see any of this being a problem, Shrek. Heaven for you. Oh God, look at look at Shrek in heaven. He lo it looks like I made a mistake. He looks like the creepiest guy. <gasps> Levi. Levi, you're going to heaven. I don't even care what you've done. Doesn't like the talls. <laughs> takes pleasure in torturing his enemies. Totally fine, they they deserved it. Happy when he sees his own reflection in the mirror, I would be too. Levi, you're going to heaven. I might be biased, but you're going to heaven. All right, now is this a famous person or is this just an average person? Never returns the book she borrowed. <gasps> what a monster. Oh my God. Farts whenever she is alone. I mean, don't most people do that? In Asian restaurants, she uses fork instead of chopsticks. So do I. <laughs> You're good. Oh my God, it's Rick. Burps constantly, that's fine. Bad example for his grandchild. Oh no. Turns himself into a pickle to escape his family problems. That's totally fine. Heaven for Rick. Also might be biased on that one. I can judge Billie Eilish. I mean, you're going to heaven, girl. Maybe I should not be biased when judging where people will go for the rest of eternity. Eh, oh well. Hi, Billy. Big fan, let's see what you've done. ex believer that's fine, weren't we all? Sits on those who do push-ups, yes, queen. She wears baggy clothes to avoid being sexualized, yes, queen, yes. Oh, a lie detector. My name is Duke Armstrong. I am the founder and CEO of a startup. Why are you lying? To an angel of God! Do you not think I know? I am unemployed. What does that matter? You're dead, I don't care what you did. I saw a young man stealing an old woman's bag. Okay. I immediately intervened and caught the thief. Lie. Okay, maybe I waited for a while. I gave the bag back to the old woman. I didn't touch anything. You stole her bag? You, wait a minute. So somebody stole her bag and then you held him down and then stole her bag from him. Fine, I got $20 from her wallet. 
I mean, I'm not gonna judge you off that one incident. You seem like a creepy okay guy. Spider-Man, what have you done? He came hero to earn money. And that's fine. Everybody needs a job. <laughs> Caused his wife to die because of the radiation in his blood. Spider-Man? <laughs> I mean, that wasn't his fault. Likes upside down kisses. Ooh. <laughs> Spider-Man, I want to keep you. It's like, I'm just collecting my favorite characters. I don't know. I don't care what they've done. I don't care how creepy they are. They're going to heaven so they can hang out with me. Who are you? Give spoilers all the time. Oh my God, you're the worst. You're going to hell. Like, that's all it takes. Get out of here. Oh my God, it's Heisenberg from Breaking Bad. Why am I here? I'm just a high school teacher. We know your other business as well. Yes, I also have a car washing business. <laughs> I mean, you do. Fine, I did it because I had to pay for my medical bills. You don't deserve it, but I loved Breaking Bad, so you're welcome. I feel like this is somebody famous, but I don't know. Has a habit of dancing when the music plays. That's fine. Practices every day in his spare time. That's fine. Attention seeker. That's fine. I don't know who you are. So you're going to hell. <laughs> I don't know who that's supposed to be. Choose the most evil one. Puts hot iron shoes on her stepmother and kills her. Damn Snow White. <laughs> Freeze all animals by killing zoo staff. They're both pretty evil. I guess the zoo is more evil because she killed multiple people? We're just gonna go with that. Got the soldiers and civilians captured, impaled, and killed. Okay, well now we got multiple, multiple deaths against multiple deaths. At least she was trying to help animals, I guess. So this guy's more evil. Ah, uh, okay. Who is this? Marries a rich old man for his money. I mean, that no good. Finds new lovers while married. That's no good. Establishes a foundation for the victims of abuse with the inheritance from her husband. I mean, that's good. You did good with the money. And I guess it wasn't really hurting the guys because at least they got to like be with somebody instead of being alone. <laughs> This is getting hard. Oh my God, it's PewDiePie. Loves making satirical commentary. That's fine. I guess that's what I do too. Big supporter of independent video game producers. Me too. Sold hot dogs to fulfill his dream. All right, PewDiePie, this one's for all the YouTubers. Heaven. My name is Stella Jobs. I am a lawyer. We just judged you, girl. She's like, wait a minute. I have more info. That's a lie. Fine, I'm a housewife. Yeah, we know. I'm so sorry that my husband died. I loved him very much. He was my soulmate. That was a lie. You just said <laughs> you married him for his money. Fine, I'm not that upset. I didn't love him very much. I will donate his inheritance to charity organizations. What? <gasps> wait, but you told me you would. That was why you went to heaven. Well, now you're going, oh God. We can crush her. Kinda wanna know what that's like. Crush her, crush her, crush her. All right, non-famous person. Pours milk on a bowl before putting cereal. Oh, the milk, the milk before the cereal. The milk before the cereal. Let this be a lesson. Okay, tell me you'll never put milk before the cereal ever again, sir. Do you promise? Do you promise? <laughs> Whoops, I meant to put him in heaven. I was just trying to scare him and I accidentally let go. Send those with mustaches to heaven. You heard it here first. If you want to get into heaven, guys, you got to grow a mustache. I know some guys can't grow a mustache, but it's too bad. <laughs> Hello, Cleopatra. Took a thousand Roman refugees to Egypt. That's good. Enslave. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. Got nail polish made from refugee slaves. Blood. What? Did she really? Oh, no. Before she died, she distributed all her nail polish makeup to the public that was made out of the blood of refugees no 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 we have a creep limit here in heaven you are over that making nail polish out of the blood of refugees is definitely too much for heaven oh my god is it gandalf <laughs> is it god himself who is this oh my god this whole time i could have given a score out of 10 of how evil or good <laughs> i was just going all the way i guess you're good you also look really creepy like if i saw you in a dark room i'd be scared and i kind of want that <laughs> kind of dig that i love creepy things <laughs> eats pineapple pizza i actually love pineapple pizza come for me i don't care puts back things on the wrong shelf at the supermarket i mean it's bad but i've done that <laughs> Not often, I try to do my best to put it back. Works naked in the office, I mean. Oh, in the office? I mean, if you were at home, but not in the office. Oh God, sir. I was on your side. You know what? I need a fellow pineapple pizza lover though, so. Just please don't do it naked. That would make me very uncomfortable. Ugh, I'm tired of judging these people. Leave comments so I can judge all of you instead. That seems more fun. 